Welcome, new friends and those discovering Civ. This is the beginning of a series where I explain all the basics of Civ, from setting up necessary mods to exploring the unique plugins that make CivMC so addictive. We'll also delve into the political climate and socioeconomics of the server that makes Civ what it is. Today, we'll focus on setting up some things that will make your life easier on the server and provide a streamlined and fun experience. I'll guide you through installing these mods on my personal favorite client, FeatherMC, as well as the base client. We'll start with FeatherMC, but if you prefer to stick with the base client, you can skip ahead after the mod overview section. However, I highly recommend using a third-party client because it makes managing the mods much easier and offers a lot of built-in UI features, which we'll cover later in this video. The first three mods that we'll discuss are arguably the most important for survival and navigation on the server. Civ Modern, Zero's Minimap, and Zero's World Map. Other client-side mods used for aesthetics and building will be covered in a separate video. Civ Modern features in Radar, which reveals players within a 150 block radius of you, which is pictured in the top right corner of my screen. Macros for left click, down to minus. Macros for right click, bound to equals. An attack macro, bound to zero. An ice red macro, bound to backspace. It also highlights compacted items, making them easier to spot at a glance. You can figure these in game by pressing R. And the controls can be modified in the controls tab of your settings. The other two mods, Zero's Minimap and Zero's World Map, work hand in hand with each other. The keybinds for these can also be edited in the controls tab, but most of the settings can be accessed by hitting the right bracket key. The world map tab allows you to customize various settings which you can feel free to experiment with, while the minimap settings are where you'll likely make the most changes. In the general settings tab, you can change your minimap size, shape, and frame. Feel free to experiment with the other settings in here and in the other tabs, although they don't affect much except for the waypoint settings. In this tab, you can tag, toggle on map waypoints, in game waypoints, death points, and adjust different settings related to waypoint size and distance. To so, there's two ways to set a waypoint either come into your settings and use the waypoints tab here, or hitting M to open up your world map, and then right-clicking, clicking Create Waypoint, and that will put it right where you click. Now, let's explore the client's included tools. You go ahead and hit Escape, Feather Settings, Feather Settings again. You'll be able to see all the different UI settings that you can enable or disable, uh, depending on your personal preference. However, I recommend going through all of them and just just reading them to see what you, you may or may not like. Because like speed meter is nice if you're using an ice road and you want to see exactly, uh, calculate exactly the time that it's going to take you to get somewhere. Um, saturation is nice to know how much food you're going to need to eat or like if you want to get different types of food. Reconnect's nice if you have shitty internet. Um, ping's always nice, so you know if you're lagging or if it's just a server. Um, but yep, feel free to experiment with it, and they don't uh, have a huge impact on your your gameplay, but they're nice to have. Uh, that concludes the mod overview. Now let's move on to the setup and installation. Uh, follow the download links in the description to grab the mods and ensure they're all for version 1.18.2 to ensure for compatibility. All right, first things first, you're gonna go into your browser and head to feathermc.com and install your client. Uh, once that's complete, you're gonna take it and drag it into your preferred drive and run the installer. It should only take a few seconds and then Feather will automatically open. Um, once you have Feather open, you're going to want to come up here to the top right and add your Microsoft account in order to be able to play play Minecraft. And then once you're done with that, 
it's time to install the mods. So this is the easy part. You just come to the mods tab, you select your version, which is going to be 1.18.2 fabric. And then you add, click add mods, and then drag the mods that we installed earlier into the folder. Close those out and you're ready to play. Um, any mods that you install in here, you can toggle on and off at any time. Uh, so it's easy. It's it's way easier than using the, the regular client where you'd have to go in and delete or pull them out of your mods folder. Um, that's all you need to get started and have fun exploring the server. So if you're not going to be using the regular base Minecraft launcher, um, just make sure you check out the rest of the videos in the series where we'll dive into the other plugins, mods, and unique aspects of Civ. Um, now let's go ahead and explain how to set up the mods on the regular Minecraft client. So for this, you're going to need something um, in addition to the mods that we installed earlier. And it's going to be the fabric installer. So you just download this. It's going to give you this right here. Go ahead and run it. And it'll come up with this installer. All you need to do is select your version, which is going to be 1.18.2. And... Make sure to create profiles selected and install. Okay. And then you just need to open up your Minecraft launcher. And as you can see here, you'll have a profile called Fabric Loader 1.18.2. So you're going to want to have this profile selected, otherwise none of the fabric mods you are going to install are gonna work, okay? So now, come down here and type in percent app data percent. Hit enter, and right here will be your .minecraft folder. Come right here, you can see the mods folder. And it'll have installed the fabric API and all you need to do is come right here and drag the rest of your mods in here. And then you're, you're ready to go. You just click play, close this out, and start your Minecraft. I'm not going to drag in the mods because it can fuck up my feather installation. But uh, you guys should be able to figure it out here from here. Um, I, I, I will recommend, even if you do this like for right now to research different clients and and find one that would work for you because it it allows for a much smoother experience in the long run but uh, that's all you guys need and to get started and have fun exploring the series so make sure to check out the rest of the videos in the series where we'll dive into the other plugins mods and unique aspects of civ until next time uh